Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, uh, we are reviewing Dollar Store Mustaches. <laughs> That's right, folks. Today, we are reviewing the Shadows of Brimstone Feral Vampires box set. Little guy got me this for my birthday last year, and we finally, Unwillingly. finally got around to playing a game of Shadows of Brimstone. I don't Brimstone. think this one's very good. Finally got around to playing a game of Shadows of Brimstone. He had the, the whole day off, so we played uh, uh, the heck out of this. Um, I, he, you know, he's not a big vampire fan, and I, I don't like vampires, but I like to fight them, if that makes any sense to you guys. So we had a blast uh, hunting down vampires in, in, in an old mine, and we were pretty successful, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we didn't die. We did not die. We came close, though. Did we? Well, okay, let me rephrase that. We came close to having two characters become vampires. Yeah. Which I think is a fate worse than death. And for those of you bloodsuckers out there, go get you. Um, let's let's uh, go into the box contents. It comes with the usual booklet and card for the vampire stats. The booklet comes with all the new information as usual. For running the vampires, their special abilities, the four missions that are actually closer to more like seven missions, because one of the missions has three separate objectives, which can be turned into three separate missions, and one of the other missions could be tweaked. Uh, all in all, you get a good bit of replay using this box set, uh, especially if you then you know transfer it over to a. Forbidden Fortress style game, uh, you'll you'll just get you'll you know you'll get you'll get your money's worth. Let's put it that way. Definitely. Uh, Want to talk about the the monsters themselves? Don't like them. You don't like vampires, but no. But were these guys much tougher than things we fought before? Do you think? Um, maybe. They're they're a little tough. You know, eight health, five initiative. That initiative is is, is a toughie. But I think it's their four defense. That that really pumps them up because that's like pretty close to the 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 zombies, right? The zombies at five. Yeah. Or at least I'm brutal, but that's all I know. But uh, and the master vampire has double that, and they can have bonuses, elite abilities, etc. Because I was running the drifter, so of course they get a free elite ability. Mm -hmm. But their fear ability, not that staggering. Fear two, the blood drain. If if they roll a six. In combat, they, they heal themselves up, which is yeah. actually... On top of the whole, you know, turning into a vampire thing, if you get a crit and then roll six afterwards. Yeah. That's... Then then you get bitten, and if you get, I think, I think bitten twice? No, it's if you gain mutation. Oh, right, yeah, if you get enough corruption. Instead of mutating, then... Yeah, yeah, you turn into a vampire. And, you know, to be honest, I can see why a lot of people would actually enjoy playing the vampires. But we don't like them. Right, double health, half your sanity, extra bonuses, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the drawbacks are, are minor. You can't go into a church, you know, things like that. The mist form gives them an armor five, which, you know, is is pretty decent. You know, it's a one in three chance of them not taking any damage from that hit. The vampiric bite, uh, we already talked about that. Combat three, damage two. All in all, not too shabby. The... The box set comes with uh, one big terrain tile for the, the last room, you know, the vampire lair, which is kind of cool. Though I don't like the fact that they tell you to flip it over during one mission, and you can't... Just take that off. You, no. And, well, you know, you, you can't really you're flip gonna it... You're swallow it. <laughs> no. Then fix it. Okay, so, so he's got a caterpillar. If, if that becomes our screenshot or our, 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 our thumbnail, I, I'm going to just die laughing. Uh, so, the... You distracted me. Oh, yeah, the final room, they tell you to flip it over during some missions, but you can't... When you flip something over, obviously, the connection isn't the same. Right, <laughs> the puzzle connection, that's right. Yeah, so what they should have is a piece that allows you to connect pieces that are from one... The, from one side to the other, mm -hmm. though it's literally only going to be useful for like this and maybe a couple other times where they do very similar things. Unless they just make it a, a double-sided uh, mine, like a, like a really small hallway. 
That's what it would be. It would be a very a very small hallway. That just adding two squares. Yeah. Maybe three. Depending on how you look it, at it. It would probably add the bare minimum amount of squares that it needs to. Maybe two. Or Does maybe not really add any squares at all. Just, I guess it would technically be adding one square. <laughs> God, this is so hard. What? <laughs> just take it off. <laughs> you can put it on at the end. No. Okay. The set also comes with some cards, including some, I think, five new treasure cards, which are absolutely staggeringly helpful and powerful. Uh, not just going after vampires, but demons and undead later on in the game, if you choose. Of course, it's got the encounter cards and the regular uh, monster cards to you know put in your random decks to, to determine when you draw the monsters. But one of the things that was just absolutely overpowered, even though we never used them, was the holy water and wooden stake side bag tokens that we picked up before the game because we knew we were hunting vampires. Yeah. If you go in after vampires without a wooden stake, you're kind of asking for it. And um, real quick, the holy water is a free attack. Discard to throw at a range attack with range of five. Roll once to hit. Does a D8 wounds, ignoring defense and armor to a demon or undead enemy. Makes sense. That is powerful. A D8 damage. Yeah, that's no, pretty good. I mean, grit the roll. Okay, you get a six or a seven now. Maybe an eight if you're lucky. And you're only $100, too. Yeah. And it may be purchased at the church or the church tent for $100 each. Pretty good. Far better than, than well, maybe not better it's, than It is Dino. the best thing in this expansion. Yeah, I think so. No doubt. Uh, well, that one cross is pretty handy. True, and it allows you to have a cross when I took the iron cross, surely. Yeah. For a... We, we found this really cool iron cross artifact that, that's made for the preacher. I'm running the preacher. And I took it. Yeah, he took it, so my preacher's running around without it. But now he's got the other one, which we lucked out on. Yeah, but... surely you can tell why I took it. Yeah, because he's running a Tredaren. The wooden stake is also a free attack, combat one. Discard to use as a free attack. It's a critical hit on a 5 or 6. Is plus 1 damage versus a beast or undead enemy. Or plus 2 versus a vampire enemy. Also, they purchased at the church or church tent for 50 bucks. It, it, it's not bad. It, it's pretty good, but you better save it for the last room with the vampire you know, leader, so to speak, when you get there. Now, uh, last thing we want to show off are the vampire miniatures. As you can see, I really went to town on the the bases. I wanted to give them little tombstones and, and things like that. I had a lot of fun painting them. I wanted a little guy to give me a hand, but he, ha he hates vampires so much, he just would not help me out with these guys. But I think they turned out pretty good. I still need to do a little touch-up on the, the, the lips to make them look bloody. But uh, I need to, you know, uh, find my, my triple hot brushes for that because it's really tiny work. I suppose I could have done it first and it wouldn't have been so hard. But they're, they're two or three piece models. Yeah, um, you just have to glue the heads on and in one case you have to glue the torso on, the other pose not so much, just it's one piece plus the head. Uh, really nice models. They, they really, really turned out well. Um, I think I screwed up on one of the eyes somewhere. No but, one eyes. Well, maybe they will. I don't know. Uh, well, because I... See, I'm going to look for it. Because uh, I use just toothpicks to just give them yellow dot eyes, like this guy right here. You can really see that, that I did a good job. Just I didn't want to do them the way they, they showed this to might do. might have been it. Yeah, it's, it's too much. I used a brush. Oh, no, this is it. Well, there's two of them. But otherwise, uh, see, of them? see, just really good yellow dots. Uh, in, in the picture, their eyes are just solid yellow. Oh, there's only one. And, and I didn't really like that. I, I, I just wanted to I know. Use, use a toothpick. But I'll, I'll just redo them, and it's not a big deal. These. But so he puts them on front. So yeah, can, of course. Uh, of course, it's the the leader. I gave the you know I also painted them different. I didn't want to paint them all green like the book suggested. I wanted to give them different colors. Not of course, colors. purple for you know the the leader, and blue for you know just cause and red just you know just wanted to mix it up a little. Just wanted to mix it up a little, but I think I think they turned out pretty good. And, you know, when you put them together, 
uh, it, it looks like they're walking through a graveyard. And, and you know, we use these miniatures for other games. Uh, my son often uses them for his uh, his five E game, and I use these. Uh, well, so far only for Shadows of Brimstone. But when I need vampires, I will pull these out because if you take Red Sonia here and she's got to fight some vampires, they're they're pretty tough customers, pretty big. Well, and, yeah, but the Shadows of Brimstone has they're like thirty or thirty two scale. Right. And this, this uh, just in case you guys are wondering, because I know someone out there will ask me, this Red Sonia miniature is from Bronze Age, and I painted her up exactly like Red Sonia because she's standing right next to the Conan miniature. But uh, there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, wanted to do something really Halloween-ish. Um, even when I got this in April, I'm sa I said to myself, we're going to save the review till October for Halloween. And you know, and I guess uh, we're doing the werewolves next Halloween. Oh no, we might do them um, for February or March, just cause. Oh well. Uh, yeah, he's not, not a big werewolf fan either. Um, I'm I'm not either, but you know, uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Christmas is coming. There's a few sets I don't have. Maybe I'll put that on the list. Yeah. But until.